Oh yeah, this dude came through and he was talking about trying to find a lightweight MCP client on with Python. He ended up using this one. MCP client CLI. This seems pretty cool. I've been looking for something like a simple CLI. Let's see how big this file is. How big this code is. Okay, it's quite a few different files. Storage prompt. Let's look at the prompt. There's a reviewer for code, a committer, and the YouTube one. Okay, interesting. Um, this is pretty cool. Low key want to try this. Let's look at their diagram. Component diagram. Okay. So a user can ask stuff like, what's the capital? Tell me more. Um, okay. The CLI has a config manager, output handler, conversation man manager, managing conversation persistence through an SQLite database. Also memories, tool manager that manages MCP tools. There's MCP servers and LLM providers externally. Okay, this would make sense. It's a pretty good architecture. Set up, you just pip install it. And you have your MCP config similar to how you would for Claude or Cursor, etc. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's test this out. I'm going to test it out on Warp. We're just going to install it globally. YOLO. YOLO Baggins. Pip install. It requires Python greater than 3.12, whereas I have 3.11. We're going to use the agent mode. We want to install uh, this, but it requires Python 3.12. Let's see what it suggests. Work who loves MCP has been using OpenAI's vector storage feature to create simple MCP servers for docs. Nice. Yo, Kez, what's up? Okay. Um, so it wants to brew install Python 12. Don't really want that. Like make and end with UV with Python 12. I think that's what, how I should be doing it. A virtual environment. One downside to that is I think I have to run the virtual environment every time. And oh, I don't know why I'm doing it in this folder. Let's make a new folder. So now I should have Python version 12. Nope, I didn't activate it. How about now? Can I teach you programming? It's not really something I do, um, but you can book my time at techfriend.net and I can use that to teach you programming. But I think there's probably better ways where you can learn programming without paying me $100 an hour, which is random. I think the way I've done Python versioning might depend on what's in this ZSL, ZSHRC file. I'm using PyEnv. Yeah, there we go. So I need to change versions with Pi n. Maybe I should uninstall that if I'm using UV more. I don't know. Python versioning is painful. Yeah. Well, apparently, like UV is meant to solve all of that. But I think, like, if I'm going to use just UV, I should uninstall Pi n. But because I have both of them, it's kind of Pi n is taking precedence, which is a bit annoying. MCP CLI project. And it's just got provider open AI as the example. Speaking of MCPs to use, there is this MCP, this one MCP that unlocks 4,000 plus MCPs. And that is the Appify MCP, which I have one created um, here, actors MCP, with five scrapers for Instagram, web, tweets, YouTube, and Reddit. Do you just have to tag the specific MCP you want to add to the context? Yeah, yeah, you do. So it doesn't in include all 4,000 initially. You kind of have to set them up. So I've set up these five, but you can like bulk add um, as many as you want. But yeah, as you said, it would, it would probably confuse the LLM if you add all of them. MPX this, okay, this seems pretty simple. Google Maps key? No, uh, OpenAI API key. So the good thing about like Appify, the whole point is like, you just need one API key and that's the Appify API key. And then it's able to, you know, do all these other external services, API calls 
without you having to sign up for individual API keys. Cool. So I just want to see if that works. They do say you can use any LLM provider, but we'll just see if the base one works here. I'm trying 4 mini. I've typed high. It's taken a hell of a long time. This could be because it's um, installing the Appify client. That one worked. Can you get the latest video by TechFriend on TikTok? Okay. It's using the Instagram scraper, even though I said TikTok, but that's still pretty cool. Let's see what it comes up with. Seems like I've mistakenly searched for TikTok on Instagram. <laughs> Let's just say Instagram. Interesting, okay. Totally different arguments here. This is just 4 mini, so it is kind of basic. Um, should we try Open Router? Open Router. Here it says change the base URL for Open Router, potentially. Oh, that's cool. So I did get my latest pinned, my top pinned video, I think. Not exactly my latest video, but my pinned video. So it's able to do a call. Um, can you get, I don't know what else that these MCP servers can even do. Hey, Joker, what's up? Sequential thinking MCP is a must. Yeah, I haven't really gotten any of those management slash thinking ones. Haven't tried any of those just yet. Can you find tweets about Llama 4 at 7B? Let's try another tool. Damn, it wasn't able to call the other tools. I'm going to change model to GPT 4.0. So we'll give it the exact same tool call. What was a tool called Discover Actors? This is interesting. So it's actually found, no, it found a tool, but then it called another tool. And now it's using the Instagram scraper again. All right, what if we ask it, what tools do you have access to? Instagram scraper, web browser, Google Maps. Oh, so despite me saying that it has tweet scraper, YouTube scraper and stuff, it doesn't actually see those interesting not sure why and then it also has actor discovery and actor details and google maps which i haven't provided um in the appify mcp docs they did provide a way to provide the the where is it here the actors manually maybe i should do that Oh, I'm gonna hide my screen again. It's really annoying because like the the config file has my um, API key in it, so I can't show it. But I'm just manually adding these actors now. Let's see. I think I just added them. Um, so I should have like a tweet and a TikTok one now. So I'm just gonna ask about tweets about Llama Four. Hopefully now it'll have access to the tweet scraper. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. That's the exact one I'm using. So now it's grabbing 10 tweets for Llama 4. These results are from a demo data set. So I wasn't really able to tell me. I think we can like continue the conversation here um, with like dash C. Add a C prefix. LLM space C. Just print out the tweets in plain text. Let's see if it has like conversational memory. It should. Okay, <laughs> apparently that um, MCP just returned demos. I wonder if we can like clear the conversation. I guess if we don't provide C. I guess that's so. All right, let's try um, get the latest video from Tech Friend on TikTok. Elon requires an API key. Yes, if you're accessing directly. But the whole point of these like actors on Appify is they're meant to handle it for you and then they pass down the cost onto you kind of thing. Okay, this one's doing Instagram again. What tools do you have access to? Let's ask it one more time. Do you use Inspector when you're building your MCP servers? Me? I'm I'm not building them um, or debugging them. No, I've no, I've never used the Inspector tool. Is it good? Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit. 
Oh, I don't have TikTok. Did I remove it? Looks like I don't. All right, let's just ask, um, find the opinions on Llama 4 on the local Llama subreddit. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll spend too much more time on that one. Goose is one of the better CLI implementations. Yeah, I should definitely give Goose another um, visit. Definitely lacking. Do they have voice talk? Yeah, wait, do I still have Goose installed? 